keeping up with our motto let learning be a joy and teaching be a pleasure here we are with remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap happy learning students you are mrs sonal shah doshi from thakur vidya mandir high school and junior college teaching you all geography today for grade 8 chapter 1 local time and standard time part 2 In last session we have learnt about local time what is called the local time so the time of a place as decided by the location of the sun in the sky is called local time the best way to decide local time of the particular place is to decide local time and set it according to the noon in that particular place today we are going to learn about standard time why do we require standard time what is standard time so different longitudes have different timings for sunrise noon and sunset when it is noon at mumbai it wouldn't be the same at kolkata because kolkata lies to the east of mumbai it would already be afternoon in kolkata the local time of a place on the earth surface is determined with reference to its noon time this implies that the place is lying on the same longitude have the same local time there is no difficulty when the local time is used for a small area when people living in larger area across different longitudes have to interact with each other then using local time could lead to chaos and confusion in such cases we use standard time which is fixed for the entire country so the standard time is the synchronization of clocks within a geographical area or region to a single time standard rather than using solar time or a locally chosen meridian to establish a local mean time standard for india the indian standard time has been decided according to the 82 degree 30 minutes east longitude which passes through mirzapur near allahabad uttar pradesh this is because this longitude passes through the middle of the country with reference to its longitudinal extent the local the local time at this longitude has been selected as the standard time of the whole country when the sun is directly overhead on this longitude then it is assumed that it is 12 noon everywhere in india whether in reality it is there or not there is no difference of more than 1 hour between the local time at 82 degree 30 minutes and other places in the country important thing to remind you again longitudes lying to the east of any longitudes are ahead of time and those lying to the west are behind the easternmost places faces the sunrise first then the westernmost places now take out world map write breakfast on the westernmost part lunch in the middle part and dinner in the easternmost part as we know eastern places faces the sunrise first so when there is morning in western part of the world the eastern part already faced sunrise so they must be having dinner at the same point of time so when there is morning when the western people are having breakfast the eastern most people are having dinner as they faced the sunrise already so they are ahead of time and we write plus for eastern most places and minus for western most places let's see the relationship between longitudes and time so as we all know earth rotates and it takes 24 hours to complete one rotation now during this 24 hours total 360 longitudes facing the sun at different times 
so how many are gap between those longitudes so 360 degrees divided by 24 hours is equal to 15 degrees per hour per hour 15 longitudes face the sun so each time zone covers 15 degrees of longitude the time difference between each longitude is 4 minute so if it is 12 noon in greenwich it would be 12 4 pm at 1 degree meridian to remember easily you just remember that at every 15 degree one hour gap is there so if there is 12 noon at 0 degree meridian at 15 degree east there will be 1 pm at 30 degree east there is 2 pm at 45 degree east there will be 3 pm and so on now understand it with example mumbai is located at 73 degree east longitude and kolkata is at 88 degree east longitude approximately find the difference between the longitudes of these two cities so there is 15 degree longitudes difference between these two cities second question is if the local time at mumbai is 3 pm then what would be the local time at kolkata as i told you at every 15 degree longitude there is a difference of 1 hour and kolkata is lying to the east so we will add time and not subtract the time so when the mumbai shows 3 pm kolkata will be showing 4 pm in its local clock and to avoid this difference in times we said the standard time for entire region or for entire country the indian time standard time has been decided according to the 82 degree 30 minutes east longitude which passes through mirzapur near allahabad in uttar pradesh as i have told you another thing to remind you places on the same longitude shows the same local and standard time we have seen that standard time is set to avoid any chaos and confusion that arise due to difference in local time in the same country similarly to avoid confusions between two countries of the world that arises due to difference in standard time we need universal standard time let's understand what is this for an international coordination between the countries the local time at greenwich in england is considered to be the international standard time the difference in standard times of various countries is calculated with reference to gmt that is greenwich mean time so gmt is considered to be 0 degree and at every 15 degree east we add an hour and every 15 degree west longitude we subtract an hour so indian standard time is 5 hours and 30 minutes ahead of gmt as it is at east of the greenwich london so if it is 5 pm at greenwich then in india it would be 5 pm plus 5:30 pm that is 10:30 pm let me share you an interesting fact about time zone the country with the most time zones is france it has 12 time zones because of territories around the world russia and the us have 11 each 
the US has 9 official time zones and 2 unofficial time zones for its uninhabited territories. Now another interesting time related fact is why France is an hour ahead of Greenwich Mean Time even though the prime meridian passes through the country so the answer is choosing a time zone for your country depends on a combination of geographical and social factors although France lies along the same longitudinal lines as Greenwich its politicians have decided to follow their neighbors and adopt central european time that is gmt plus 1 hour to help facilitate trade and communications with the majority of european countries now what happens to the time zones at the north and south poles so the north and south poles are the two regions where the application of time zones is unusual due to their geography lines of longitude convene at both the poles so you could say that all the time zones also convene at the poles in theory you could then use whichever time you find convenient assuming you manage to locate the precise position of the poles now you might even get away with saying that the poles the year is made up of one day only continuous daylight for 6 months followed by continuous darkness lasting 6 months so precisely no need for calendars also now assignment for you all is to find some more interesting facts related to time and time zones thank you